Hello and welcome back to OSVL's uh, Vets Play D&D Thursdays. I'm your DM, Brandon, and tonight is Costume Night. Uh, I am Doctor Strange, if you bought him off the Wish app. Down we here, uh, playing Panacea, we have Katie. And Katie, what are you tonight? Uh, Louise. Fantastic. Thank you, Louise. And then stripping for us, we have our Warlock Varian, played by Milo. And Milo, what are you today? Besides a uh, naked, sexy man. I'll get back to you in, in two minutes. To let Love you know. it. <laughs> and then, of course, we have Perseus, our rogue, played by Jesse the... Lost giraffe. She's a lost yeah. giraffe, not just a normal giraffe. <laughs> Terrific. Are you on the lost giraffe in Washington? <laughs> What's what that? The rubber toy you give a baby to chew on that little giraffe? Is that the giraffe you are? Uh, I'm just any giraffe, no. but a lost giraffe. <laughs> Just a lost. Okay. Little giraffe in uh, in Washington. You know what? I the only place I've seen a giraffe here in Washington is at the zoo, so you would in fact be pretty lost. All right, I can dig it. And then, as you can see, Victor uh, and Jordan are both ghosts today for our Halloween. Uh, I guess one of them is actually a, a ventriloquist, and I'll be the dummy playing his character. So. All right. Well, without further ado, we'll get to it. Uh, last, When last we met, our players were continuing to battle their way along the Polar Express, uh, yeah. and uh, trying to defeat the odds and beat the clock to get to the front of the train to either stop it from blowing up or stop it from reaching Christmas Town. Along the way, they fought multiple baddies until they found themselves in a room with a bunch of people, started attacking the people, and then out of nowhere, a bunch of little fairies, like evil sugar plum fairies, appeared. That is where we left off with, uh, oh, now we have Milo. What's Milo today? God, that is that is funnier than I thought it was going to be. <clears throat> it's perfect. Uh, discount Cloud. I forgot to get his hair done. Cloud Strike from Final Fantasy VII. So Love I, it. Also, my sword's not done printing yet, so we got most of it. We can use our imagination. Just like yeah. you can imagine my Eye of Agamotto that hasn't gotten here yet. So <laughs> hopefully it'll be here by actual Halloween. <clears throat> All right. Well, with that, uh, let's get to the game. And there we go. All right. So uh, last thing you guys saw, a bunch of fairies appeared out of nowhere. They all looked a little something like this. Very angry. Could be cute, but not so much when they're trying to claw out your eyes. And right now, one of them is going to be buzzing right at... Varian, or Perseus, actually. Uh, Perseus, I need you to do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Can you go ahead and do a wisdom saving throw? Yes. Oh, I did too. Alright, well, we take the first one. And uh, you are terrified as that little thing comes up, launches right in your face, and goes, Hey! It's very scary. A lot scarier than what I just did. And when it comes flying up, scares the living dog snot out of you. Uh, and you are frightened as long as it is within sight of you. Now, at the end of every turn, you can uh, try to make the saving throw again, but with disadvantage. If you succeed, you'll no longer be frightened. But what does frightened mean? And I want to get the exact wording here because I don't want to lie to you. Uh, when you are frightened, you uh, have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls, and you can't move closer to the source of your fear than you already are. So, what that means for you is until you either make a successful saving throw, or that creature dies, or you leave its line of sight, you have disadvantage on any roll with a d20. Alright? And you can't get closer to it than the five feet you already are. Okay. Is there any way to have an advantage with wisdom? Because I'm pretty sure I just clicked once, but it rolled twice. Yeah, and so whenever it rolls twice, whether you accidentally roll with disadvantage or advantage, I always just take the first roll. Oh, okay. Cool. So. Milo, what were you saying? Oh, can you ping the fairy that she's afraid of? I will put a red dot on it, and I'll put a red dot on her. So I'm only afraid of that one, even though right they all Right now, that's the only one you're afraid of. So as long as you guys have a clear line of sight of each other, you're, you're scared witless. Okay. Yeah. All right. And with that... Um, yep, that is going to be its action. We're going to have this one do the same thing to Whale Eye Bashino. If I can get his character sheet pulled up. 
And he is also scared. So we will do blue dots on them. Uh, this one here is going to try to get Frank. I'm rolling really poorly for everyone. I love it. Of course you do. We're all just terrified. <laughs> all right. It, um, these tiny little fairies just got these mean faces that just have you all scared. All right. Uh, this one's going to fly up and try to attack Bushino. <clears throat> uh, and he manages to hit and deal him a whopping five damage. All right. And that means we have time for this one. Actually, this one right here is going to try to get Varian. Varian, I need a wisdom save. Left-handed wisdom save. Ooh, talent. Did it go? It didn't go. Let me do it again. There we go. It went, you are also scared. Everybody is scared. You get a pink one. All right, and then Panacea, you know what's coming. Uh, wisdom save, right? That's the one. Please tell me that I'm not scared with that roll. <laughs> well, I don't see your roll yet. But it comes out 17. Yeah, you're good. You kind of just <laughs> laugh in its face. All right. Um, everyone else being scared of him, too. <laughs> I think I have a technical error. No. Um, I roughly restarted, and then now I only see it's really dark, and then I only see myself with a red dot on not myself. Not this again. <laughs> <That's> not <laughs> Is that happening again? I can try it. Yeah, no, I restart. I refresh like three times. <sighs> <laughs> All right, give me a moment. We'll try to work on that. Okay. Not me for what? Sorry. <laughs> I know, usually like, it'll randomly restart, but then I just refresh and it's fine. Okay. Yeah, okay. Just, I'm going to yeah. take away your vision. Okay. And I'm going to delete your token. Then I'll bring it back and see if that fixes it. That works. You good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. All right. So we're back at it with Frank. What is he going to do? Well, Frank is going to try to smash the... Uh, Pardon me, the fairy that's right here scaring him, of course, with disadvantage. So, his first roll is a 13. His second. Oof, his second one is a 24. Too bad we couldn't go with that to begin with. But the 13 will hit. And he ends up dealing it a whopping 4 damage. But he follows up with his crossbow, also at disadvantage. First rolls of 26. Second one is an 18, so that's two hits. <clears throat> All right, for another six damage. And with that, he knocks the thing that is scaring him out of the air, causing it to be D-E-D. -E -D. Uh, he hits it so hard with his little crossbow, he actually ends up pinning it to the wall. All right. It's not so fun playing all the characters because I feel like you guys don't get to do anything for a while, so I'm sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. Well, faster than they would have done them. <laughs> well, it's because I've only barely looked at their character sheet, so I only know like two things that they do. So that's what they're gonna do all day. <laughs> they do most of the time. We'll finally, got off the train this time. Hopefully, uh, the other group made it off the train yesterday. So. Okay. And you guys are a session, everyone's a session behind where I thought you would be, so hopefully we'll get you off the train today. And to help you do that, uh, this guy here is going to take a swing at Bushino. Uh, Something is helping us. <laughs> I have another technical thing, but I'm trying to handle it myself. And by that I mean I can see all of the pieces on the map. I'm just going to zoom in really far and ignore them. I, I don't know what's going on here. I'm gonna kill your. Like I'm gonna. Card, but I can see where other characters are. So. All right. I'm gonna deuce your character out here in a second. Your token and bring it back and see if that fixes anything. I'm gonna not have you screw with mine after the whole debacle. Yeah. Honestly, as long as you guys don't meta, I don't care. <laughs> uh, this guy stands over to here and he's going to shoot his longbow at Frank. 
but he... Ooh, that's a nat 20. Uh oh Yeah, so I'm pretty uh -oh. sure that hits Frank. Let's double check. His AC is only 17, so that's a definite hit. So... Let's go... Wait, my AC is better than his? That's sad. <laughs> So it's going to be this times two, so 12 damage to Frank. Oh man, he's getting wrecked. Doesn't he have a potion he can drink? He probably can. <laughs> On his turn, we'll see. <clears throat> All right. He's back next week and he's dead. <laughs> his character died. <laughs> I've killed off characters on the other campaign already. <laughs> oh, shit. But it's no. only because their player quit, so. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> Ten. Uh, this one here... Second. <laughs> it's going to move to here, and he's going to level his crossbow at Panacea. Panacea does a 12 hit. Uh, 12 hit. What do I look at? Your AC. My AC is 18. Uh, so no, it does not hit. Zoo. All right, Varian, what are you up to? I'm marveling at her AC. Because, like, that's really high. <laughs> I went dwarf and I got perks. In one of our previous campaigns, I had a level one. I had a level one player whose character had a 19 AC. By the time he was level three, he had a 24. That is insane, but but you know, pretty cool. Hey, um, okay, like so uh, what sort of disadvantage do I have? Well, so here. anytime you roll a d20, you have to roll with disadvantage. Which is. If you're attacking, if you're doing an ability check, anything like that. Right, but what is this advantage? Oh, I'm sorry. It means you roll twice and you take the lower of the two. Oh, that's rude. Yeah, right? Rude. <laughs> but if you have advantage, it's the opposite. Yeah. So, would I be right in saying that if I cast Force Lightning, as it has been so renamed by somebody who doesn't remember doing so, uh, I would get to roll four times and take two... Well, the lowest of each pair. Yes, that is correct. Mm, I think I'm going to try and blast this little fairy that I'm scared of. Eldritch Lightning. Eldritch Blast. Slash Force Lightning. Okay, ready? Power! Hopefully overkill. All right, so roll it again. See if the... That's a 19 would hit, but we'll see if this actually does with your disadvantage. Oh, I should probably just roll the d20 first. Oh, you hit for sure. So that'll be the five damage. All right. Do you now, want me to roll in pairs, or do you want me to roll just the d20 first and then do damage? It's up to you. If you roll in pairs, I'll just take the damage associated with it. But if you just roll the d20s, then you can roll the damage separate. It's up to you. I don't want to tease myself this time like I did last time. I'm going to roll the d20 first. Okay. That's a good hit. Let's see what the other one does. All right, give me some damage, buddy. Hey. <laughs> you killed the living hell out of it. It explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Little bits of, uh, of candied plum go flying everywhere. Yum. It's kind of disgusting. Barry, you got anything else for us? Um... <clears throat> No, no, I don't. I'm good. All right, well then, Panacea, what do you got? I've got my Warhammer thingy. I can try and slap this dude in front of me. Because he just looks annoying. Sounds like fun. And does 18 go? It'll hit. Nine. Ooh, you killed it. All right. Hi, so they're scary, but they're weak. I wasn't scared. You guys are all the ones panicking. Oh, you never got scared? No, she didn't get scared. Oh. Yeah. All right. I mark mine dead too, right? Yes. All right. I'm just trying to catch up. My little spirit homie, since he's already there, he's going to help my little friend out over there. My little homie, my little homie. <laughs> And so it's 17. 17 will hit. And 12. 
The healer coming in to save the day. It's toast. <gasps> Chicken. <Yeah. laughs> awesome. All right. Come on, guys. <laughs> you got anything else for us? Um. Eh, no, because I'm the healer. I'm going to hang back. So, yeah. Look at me not getting killed. <laughs> All right. How does he not have any ranged weapons? I gave you guys so much money. I have ranged weapons. Not you. Oh. <laughs> One of the Wait, characters that I'm looking at. What's that? We could have bought weapons with the money? No. Had a fight. Wait, before we started the game. Yeah, when I gave you the 750 gold and the item list. Yeah, we can use that to buy things. <laughs> gave us a magic item list. I never got a normal on my item list. <laughs> I missed that. <laughs> the only thing I got is because uh, somebody, Frank, forced me into it. Maybe he thought it would be cute or something and he wanted to see me put it on. But I have, like, studied leather armor and that's it. All right. We'll meet after the session then. Because there was a uh, an item list that was provided. As well. It was a shop inventory. It was on a Google sheet. So we'll go over that. Don't you worry. Neat. Maybe I can get a <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> alright. Well, uh, well, I does not have any ranged weapons for some reason. Well, uh -huh. So he is going to take out his longsword of awesome and try to attack this guy here. Of course, at disadvantage. Uh, and with a two, so a total of seven, he does not hit. Uh, he looks disappointed. Perseus, what do you got? Um, so I'm gonna move... Next to Frank. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Um, this isn't rough terrain, right? So the the it's seats are rough terrain. The center is not. Oh. Okay. Um. So this rough space would be okay, means twice, right? Yeah. So this space would be ten feet of movement instead of five feet. Five, six. <clears throat> okay. Then I'm going to go here. Use all my movement. And then, damn. Um, well, I guess I'm going to don my short bow. It seems kind of overkill, but I'm going to use my short bow to attack um, this thing. This the one in front of me. How do you mark it? Okay. That one. Got it. Roll yes. to hit. Okay. I'm kind of seated down, and then I just have it propped up on my lap, and then I'm shooting it at him. Well, it hit. For visuals. All right, and since I have the enemy near it, you get the sneak attack damage for a total of 19 damage. Oh, he's gone. It's it's dead. Perfect. Hooray! <sighs> uh, care to tell us how it happened? Um, Just a uh, an arrow impaled him in the heart, and then he kind of exploded. I love the drama and the poetry behind that. <laughs> <coughs> All right. On point. Uh, let's see. What do I have left to move? This guy here. Uh, he moves. Not that. There we go. He moves there, and he's going to try to take a swing at uh, Frank. He's going to miss both times. I don't know, he only has one, but either one he missed. Uh, so Frank is going to pay him back in kind. He's going to give him a punch. And since it's no longer disadvantage, it looks like that is a total of 10. He does not hit, unfortunately. Which brings us to this joker here, who is going to move this way. Uh, it evokes an attack of opportunity from Bushino. Uh, Bushino fails to hit. And I'm going to try to take a swing at Perseus with uh, my short sword. Uh, Perseus does a 19 or 18 hit. Mm -hmm. How about the next one? Yeah. Does a 21 hit? Yes. Okay. I just like hearing you say Definitely. it. Definitely. <laughs> All right. So. Oh, you're lucky. I rolled low. Only seven damage. Okay. <laughs> Can handle that. Right. I bought some armor. 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 <laughs> armor. 
Uh, this guy here is gonna move to there, and he's gonna shoot at Varian with his longbow. Oh no! Uh, does a nineteen hit? Yeah. All right, and he hits you for four damage. Out. <clears throat> All right, and this guy here is going to level his longbow at Whale Eye, and he fails to hit Varian. What do you do? Well, I keep swinging swords and stuff, and it keeps not working, so I think I'm just going to keep throwing Force Lightning at things. Let's see. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and step forward between these chairs here. Oh, moving myself fixed all the vision issues, by the way. So Did it? We're good now. Awesome. So weird. <laughs> yeah, that was strange. Um, okay, uh, I'm going to force lightning this guy. Do it. Did we lose KD, or is she just really good at being a statue? I mean, she freeze. Froze. <laughs> oh, good. At least you can hear us. Yeah, stuff. we can hear you, so that's yeah. good. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let me, like, try turning. It just looks like you're really engaged. Yeah. Doing, yeah, you look really It's kind of perfect. Like, okay. overly obsessed <laughs> D&D so player. I am... Okay, uh, Force Lightning! Oh, it doesn't hit. But you it have another one. I sure do. Oh, no. it's a total hit. For we'll take nine it. damage. And you were hitting at this guy here, correct? Mm-hmm. All right, he's toast. Hooray, <laughs> we wow. killed him. Oh, just coming That's in and helping me out. My thief person. But you, I probably don't know. You what now? Name yet. What? <laughs> no, what were you saying? Uh, that's what he gets for hitting my rogue person. But I don't know. There his you name. go. I don't think we're gonna do together. So when you hit him with the lightning, he dies. Does he just kind of like explode, or does he just like fall to the ground shaking? Like how's it go? Oh, oh. Um. Well, he looked relatively healthy before, maybe a little banged up. Um, nothing really crazy happens. He just, you know, gets nailed in the chest with some lightning, starts convulsing. Maybe a little bit of blood comes out of the corner of his mouth, and he crumbles slowly to the ground. Love it. Okay, Zim's really mad. I have to reload, so I'll be right back. But, okay. But, but okay, it's your turn. Okay, <laughs> no, I will try. It's just, if it cuts out, it cuts out. All right, anyway, so it's my turn. Got it. Um, well, so I'm going to move a little closer to these guys. Is there a <clears throat> me walking past him? Or am I safe here? What's that? Is it cool if I, like, walk past oh, him? Oh, absolutely. You can move through an ally space uncontested on your turn. Okay. That actually can go to there. I'm going to bless all y'all. Bless. Nice. And remind remind your teammates what does the blessing do for them? Okay, bless. You can, I can bless up to three creatures. So I'm blessing the ones that are you know here, and uh, one of them. <laughs> um, within range, they get um, whenever a target makes an attack roll or saving throw before the spell ends, the target can roll a d4. Add that number to the attack roll or saving throw. All right, so let's say you roll a d20 to attack, and you roll like a, a 12, then you can add, you can roll a d4 and add whatever that is to it. Yep. So, but it has to be before I tell you if it's successful or not. Yeah, so you can be like, I rolled a 12, and they're like, no, I want to add my 4. But you only get to do that once, right? Nope, you can do it for every roll. Oh. Whenever a target makes an attack roll or a saving throw. Got it. And it's how long? And that is for uh, hmm, casting time, one action, concentration up to one minute. So up to one minute. So you guys can use that. Uh, there are ten rounds in a minute, so ten times. Nice. Plus. All yep. right. Thank you, Panacea. Anything else? Um, I'm going to take my flamey boy and have him uh, attack that dude. Uh, this dude? The one in front of him, kind of. The one cockeyed in front of him. This one here. Yeah. Roll the hit. 
that's what. Jumping screens. <coughs> What's that? Does a 26 hit? It just might. <laughs> there we go. Seven damage. Seven damage. Oof. Yeah. He looks hurt, but not injured. Okay. Am I still frozen on Zoom? You are still I... frozen on Zoom. Okay, I'm going to do that log out login thing real quick then. Alright, we'll see you when we see you. Yeah. Uh, Bashino here is going to try to take out this l other little angry fairy, and so he is going to swing with that long sword of his. Uh, and that's a big hit right there. For a total of 10 damage, he knocks it out of the sky, cleaves it in half. Both halves kind of just flutter to the ground. Kind of like those little, uh, like the little helicopter leaves. Early. Like those. Yeah, kind of like that, only there's two of them, and there's a lot more blood involved. With only 10 damage, it split them in half? Yeah. These oh. these little guys only have a little bit of health. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. Killed him dead. It's Perseus, easy. talk me through what you're about to do. Okay. Um, I'm in a little pain because of that previous attack, but I'm pretty amazed by the, the skill of my fellow teammates, since my enemies in front of me just keep getting executed <laughs> by these guys behind me. Um, so now I have my eyes on this guy in front of me, me sort of. <laughs> How do you mark him again? He's behind the dead body of that so one plum all fairy. You have to do is click hold. Oh, okay. Dead body. So, of yeah, that guy. Okay. Um, so I'm going to use my short bow again, which has 80 range, and I'm going to attack this guy. Which guy? Um. That okay, guy. perfect. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh, it's so many dice. <laughs> so many. Well, you don't get the sneak attack damage because he doesn't have uh, an enemy within five feet of him, but you do hit and deal him nine damage. Oh, I rolled for all of them. That's okay. Uh, you can do that every turn. I don't mind. What about yes. that full blast? What about it? So that would only apply to the d20, it wouldn't apply to the damage. And she oh. already hit, so I don't recommend burning so, that d4. Roll for damage? The damage is already on there. Oh, so yeah. if you look right under, it has piercing and then sneak attack. Oh, so, okay, so it literally does everything. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, anything else, Perseus? Oh, wait. Oh, no, yeah, no, I'm good. Sorry. I thought Penacea was a bad person. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> All right. You get there. Okay. Oh my okay. gosh! Came out of nowhere. All right, Frank. He uh, looks around and doesn't see an ally within his uh, immediate vicinity, um, and so he's going to come charging down at this one uh, because that's just how Frank do. He's going to do his one-two punch with that uh, shield of his, and he misses. Uh, he's going to be very upset with me for rolling so poorly for him, so let's just hope he doesn't watch this episode. Um, Hi. <laughs> yeah, let's see, what else can he do? I'll look at the rest of his stuff while you guys are going. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. But, before you get to go, this guy is going to draw his uh, sword and step down to he not to there to right here where he is there you go just move that other dead guy and he's going to take two swings at panacea with his sword uh panacea does a 20 and a 21 hit yeah okie like dokie armor class can i like do any dodges or anything like that so um the idea of your armor class is it is the protection your armor offers you plus how good you are at dodging attacks ah, okay. um, you can take the dodge action to, and so instead of making an attack or something you can dodge until your next turn and every attack against you is, is done with disadvantage so that's like if you don't have a way to attack and you really don't have anything you want to do take the dodge action but yeah, yeah. but you'd have to do that on your turn instead of an attack so 
But yeah, think about your AC being like your armor and your ability to avoid attacks together. Cool. I am visible now, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, so that's looking like 13 damage from those two slashes with his sword. That sucks. Yeah, I bet. Uh, this guy here is going to try to do the same thing to Frank. Take his two attacks, and one of the two attacks hits for a total of t uh, eight damage. All right, Varian, what are you up to? Oh, uh, the usual, I think. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. Uh, I am going to reposition ever so slightly. I still have two swords out. I don't remember ever putting them away. No, I don't remember you doing that either. I'm going to swang them. I just Sh swing them. Here we go. Uh, long sword first. That is my dominant hand. And we'll roll the... We'll just click the button. We'll roll all the things. That's a hit. Oh, okay. I didn't want you to tell me it was a hit because I was thinking about doing that D4 oh, thing. Oh, well, luckily for you... <laughs> <laughs> ah, here we go. <laughs> Too much. Hey, okay. And then this is the offhand. So, what happens? What do we do when it's the offhand? So, offhand, you just don't get to add your proficiency bonus to the damage. Uh, it doesn't look like it did. Let me double check, though. I rolled. I'm trying to. This is weird. One to six. Oh. <clears throat> Five. Um. Just for future reference, too. Am I? Can I? Uh. Two hand this long sword. Yes. At damages. Okay. So like, if I had the short sword put away. Yes. So with this one, it would have just been the D6 uh, for the offhand weapon, because you wouldn't add your uh, your modifier. Whenever you attack with an offhand weapon, you don't get to add your um, ability modifier. So you deal them the one. Okay, and that five is left over from the previous one. Yes, but it doesn't matter because you killed him anyway. Hooray! <laughs> I think I think. Uh, do I get to tell you how he died? Is if you would like to, absolutely. Um, I think he might have tried a sloppy parry and uh, just got run through with the wrong, long blade and then uh, while I was in close I just went ahead and slashed his throat with the, with the short sword yeah. it was a it. mess I didn't want to describe it too much but there was <laughs> jam everywhere oh man potentially jam I don't know that's what Frank <laughs> his jam <laughs> sprang out the side of his neck onto Frank <laughs> that's what's happening mm, boysenberry <laughs> You got anything else for this, Varian? Uh, what's going on? Hold on, let me look around a little bit. I zoomed in a lot, remember? Because I could get <laughs> So I don't even know. Uh, yep. Cool. Um, that was my movement and my action. And, uh, yeah, I'm good. That's all. All right. Panacea, what do you got for us? Uh, I'm going to have my, my spirit homie. Um,. Try and give this dude a kiss. And 17. That's a hit. Alright, he kissed. And he, he, he got him for 11. I guess he bit him. 11. Oof. 11 <laughs> damage to this guy here, huh? Number three. Yeah. Uh, you killed him. Aww. Lost another boyfriend. Sorry, bud. <laughs> And with that, the last of your foes falls before your mighty blows uh, with a shriek and a cry. And then the train, and the noises of the train come back. Calm, quiet, and very peaceful. Kind of joyous. A little bit of Christmas music. Huh. <sighs> well, I think I'm hurt, says Bushino. Frank, you're hurt. Look at me. I'm tore up. Anybody got some healing? Uh, I've got some healing that I can do. 
Time for the healer to get to work. Yo, all right. Time to earn your keep. Hey, How much I earned my keep oh. by starting the killing slaughter on this one. Y'all are like, oh my god, fairies! <laughs> yeah, you actually did really good this um, battle. Yeah, like last session where it was like massive failure. Please <laughs> tell me you're just going to drink straight from the bottle. Am I going to drink Boo. straight from I don't know Over. how much- Oh, I could! Look! That's permissible. <laughs> you oh, you can't see so much. Glasses? There's- there's slightly more than a glass worth in there, and I think it's permissible to chug it. I just drink from the bottle anyways. It makes my boyfriend crazy, but that makes me happy. <laughs> I, too, drink from the bottle. Uh -huh. <laughs> you need a new uh, and bottle. this beverage break is brought to you by H2O. <laughs> it's way no, better right? than Gatorade. All right, so who needs the 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 healing the most? Because my spell slots are starting to get uh, run up by y'all. Um, not me. I used all my short rest points. I am so refreshed. Because last I checked, y'all had potions too. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how much that potion helps me. Are you gonna quaff a potion? So if it's a potion of healing, it does ten. Oh, perfect! I'm gonna take that. Alright, I'm a, a 1d8 mm -hmm. plus 4. I've got that available. So good, 12. Can you say Perseus quacks a potion for me? Perseus cracks a potion? No, quaff. <laughs> quaffs a potion. I'm waiting for a DM to add the flavor text, but he's thinking really hard about something. That's why I'm trying to work uh, with some... Uh... That's what it says on all like the D&D style computer games. I got the option of 3, 2, or 1 yeah. for, for a quaff? Quaff. Four, but. Quaff. Like, I don't want to waste <laughs> <spell> slots. <laughs> Bishino has nothing in his inventory. Oh, he bought some expensive stuff, though. He bought stuff? Maybe. I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know how he has some of this stuff. I'm going to have to talk to him. And, like, <coughs> he has brewing capabilities and shit. Like, I can, like, brew, right? <laughs> you can. Uh, the way brewing or any crafting works is it takes a certain amount of time to do these things uh, on the, based on how much the item you're crafting would be worth. Oftentimes it takes a day or more to craft something. Ooh. Okay. So, so yeah. that's more okay. something to do in town. Yeah, alright. Well, I need to heal my ass, so I'm using my last 2d8 slot. So, oh, I don't know why. I this might be Panacea's new word. What? Apparently, quaff is also a noun form for alcoholic drink. Yeah. So a quaff, like a multi quaff. Is a quaff. I'm no. really hoping someone's gonna pick that up, aren't you? How much time do we have before the train? Like, like, all right. So I got one. Oh yeah, have we heard an announcement recently? Uh, you have not heard an announcement recently, <laughs> but you can estimate that you guys have, uh, you know. Combat went pretty quick. You can estimate you guys have somewhere on the order of uh, 29 minutes and a handful of seconds. Search the bodies. Yeah, I'm for all for a great search. I'm just asking about these two dudes that. Uh, Frank says, uh, you know what? Save your healing. I, I'll be okay. But yeah, Machino's be... looking kind of whiny. All right, I'm giving him 1d8 plus 4. All right, so he will take your 12. I healed myself for 20, so. Fantastic. I touched myself. <laughs> Think about you, I touched yeah. myself. May I investigate these <laughs> rations? Stuck in my head all week, for the record. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, what was that question? I'm oh, sorry, may I, may I investigate these rations that I'm in front of? Uh, absolutely. No need to roll. You see a couple of pies. What's left of a chicken that's been kind of... It's cool now. It's been sitting out for a little while. And a bowl that has a single olive in it. Okay, I'm going to eat the olive and then the, the pies. Go ahead and give me a constitution saving throw. I'm kidding. You're good. Oh, <laughs> oh no. I was so excited. <laughs> does, it, does it regain my health at all? No, but it's delicious. Oh, okay. Is there a window on the next door? There is a window on the next door. Can I go peep? Can I go peep through the door before we decide if we're gonna search and stuff? If you mm, would like, good. yes. I'll try. I'm gonna go try and peep the door real quick. And when you look ahead, you see that. Hmm. I don't see anything. I just see, I Can just... I try sneaking, sir? Is there any cool shit over yonder? <laughs> uh. <laughs> so, Milo, what you see is the is another platform. It looks like it's turning to your right. Ah, uh, so I see uh, nothing. 
essentially. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. All right. Uh, Panacea, you were looking at what now? This shit. Absolutely. So, what you do find is... I just want to team search the car. What's that? I was just wondering if we wanted to, like, team search. Well, I was asking you, and y'all kind of just went on your own, so... <laughs> oh, I was just peeping the door real quick. That's oh, all. okay. Does yeah, Shino and Frank cool. seem like they'd be willing to help? Yeah, I'm willing to help. Like how, to, to search how long would you guys like to spend searching? Ten minutes. Okay. Are y'all good? And okay, cool. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. All right. We have like 29 minutes. Which uh, one are we rolling? So you guys are all rolling investigation, um, and it's going to be a. Um, you spend the full 10 minutes, so it's going to be plus eight <gasps> to the <gasps> highest roll. I think we're good. Yeah, no need to continue <laughs> to roll. With Jesse's natural 20, giving her a 24 plus eight, a search of 32. Uh, you guys do a pretty thorough search and what you find is a scimitar four scimitars pardon me four longbows four azurite each one of those is a gem worth about 40 gold pieces two bloodstones each one of them being a gem that is worth about 100 68 copper and a ring of protection oh <gasps> <The ring. laughs> right, who's the one that gets hurt the easiest <laughs> Well, yeah, that's I'm pretty rough. squishy, but our rogue likes to, you know, yeah, go up and engage. Yeah, jump into shit. The squishiest the rest player that we have, I think, is our rogue, so maybe we... We, we protect her. <laughs> also, she rolled a hat one, which is probably where the ring came from. Yeah, yeah. she I mean, <laughs> likely would have been the one that found it. Yeah. Yeah, All right, good. so <laughs> So go to manage equipment and add a ring of protection. It will give you a plus one bonus to your armor class. Nice, thanks, guys. And she needed that, didn't she? Yeah. Okay, um, I will take either one bloodstone and one scimitar, or two garnets and one scimitar. It's like a it different. Rocks matter, Dio. Got it. Uh, Frank. Gem. Frank just uh, says he'd like the copper because he's a copper. <laughs> <laughs> he wants all the copper? If no one is object to that, it's object to that. There are other stones that are worth more than the copper. Yeah, how much? Yeah, was there? fine. I'll just take whatever's uh, you know, equitable in the uh, divorcing of objects. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. looking at it. Valuables. What's that? The, the ring. Oh, I was just asking the rogue if she wanted any of the valuables. He, sorry, wanted any of the valuables. It's hard. In addition to the ring. What were... So I got four scimitars, four longbows, 68 coppers. What were the other ones? Four azurite and two bloodstone. Oh, azurite. And azurite is a stone? Yes. Bloodstones are worth 100 monies or so. Yes. And the other ones worth 40 monies or so? 40 mm -hmm. monies or so. Specifically gold pieces, gold monies. Gold monies. <laughs> I'll take some azurites. I'll take three. Oh, will you? You get a ring of protection <laughs> and three fourths of the Azerite? So far, I have nothing. I mean, <laughs> that is the most rogue thing I think you've done this entire I think campaign. That sounds really appropriate um, for you know for her to attempt it at least. Yeah, <laughs> and I rolled a twenty. I'm gonna did just we, like, did we even notice? This? Did we even notice that she pocketed three Azerite? Or is this just like a so the <laughs> the way the rule is written? Um, if you all search together, everybody knows all the loot that was found. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, in that case, Can I, I roll into like, <laughs> I feel like at least <laughs> Frank would be, you know, twisting his mustache previously, wondering. Yeah, I've been polishing my Warhammer a little <laughs> extra hard. What's that, Katie? <laughs> polishing my Warhammer a little extra hard at that gesture. <laughs> Frank's happy he got a sixty-eight copper, but Shino looks a little bit irked. He he would like some shiny rocks. I I, I want shiny rocks too, y'all. Okay, well, what if I take the remaining Azurite and Bushino gets a expensive shiny rock and so does our healer, Panacea? Yeah. They get a bloodstone or whatever they are. You get a bloodstone. That sounds no, really I, cool. I was actually kind of think, leaning that way anyway. Bushino yeah. seems appeased. 
Yeah. Okay. And I'll take the cheap rock. You could have all three of the other cheaper rocks. So for those, it's going to be hard to find them as actual items on the manage inventory. So go to equipment, click other possessions, and then you can just type it here. Yeah. Oh, I'm taking a scimitar too. Oh, that okay. one you can add to your inventory oh, yeah. easily. Add items. How do you? How do you spell it? And so you said A Z U R I T E. Oh. KD, what do you got? So you said under manage equipment. Yep, under manage equipment, or no, not under manage equipment, just under <laughs> equipment. You'll see all inventory attunement and other possessions. Oh, go to the other. Yes. And then you can just manually enter it there. So you go with my silver coin. So just a bloodstone? Yes. And you, I, I like to put how much it's worth in there if I know. And since I did inform you guys for the 100, you're welcome to. Okay. So that's what it's worth is 100 gold? Yes. But don't you don't have to type it if you don't want to. You just like go to the other possessions tab and then... So, yeah. So under equipment, you can just click other possessions. And then a little thing will pop up. Uh, underneath where it says other possessions in red, just click there and it's a free text box. No, I don't get one of those. Oh, never mind, we're good. All right. Victory. 40 G. All right, and um, Bashino, please tell me your. Bashino's taking a longbow because no one else seems to want one and he has no ranged weapons. I heard this. Good job, good job, Bashino. So he's grabbing a long bow and a bunch of arrows off the ground. That sounds great. Okay, there's still three scimitars. Are we leaving them? Yeah. I don't need them. Bashina will take one if no one else wants any. Okay, I think I can still carry a bunch of stuff. I mean, I yeah. I can carry a okay. bunch of shit. I just. I don't know. It says I'm unencumbered. <laughs> I'll take another scimitar. That puts me in. Yeah, I'll take one just to sell it later. All right. Bashino's taking one as well. And so do How much I. Is just... the right worth? 30? 40. Oh. This one says 30. Mm. Yeah, don't, don't listen to that. Okay. How do you. Oh. Got it's it. a very, oh, cost... very well refined one. Oh, God. So each one costs 40? Yes. Gold? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Give yourself 40 gold. Just say that it's worth 40 gold. Nice. <laughs> well, that all depends on if you find someone who will buy it for 40 gold. Right. So, and uh, there is a an aggressive economy in my worlds. And so you will have people try to lowball you sometimes or be very hard to barter with. Or if they like you, they give you great deals. So. <clears throat> okay. Is there anything else we're looking for? Um, I don't think so. As in, like, can we chat out things that we specifically want to check or look for in these 10 yeah, minutes? Yeah, you guys have already checked the whole thing, so. Okay. If there's well, anything on the image that you see that you want to know more about, let me know. Ah, excellent. Um, I mean, I, we, I guess the dead bodies are probably more of the same, but let's look at those anyway, just to be sure. So yeah, the dead bodies were included in your search. But do they have any markings or, or trends ah, about so you're trying them? to find out specifically more about them. Yes. Stellar, I understand. Um, the dead bo the bodies that were dead before you entered are very similar to the dead bodies you've seen previously. Uh, slashes, cuts that uh, smell either of peppermint or clove. And then these ones particularly had lots of small cuts and gouges from what you're assuming might have been those little fairies. Well, that's horrible. You said the cuts and gouges meant like smell like peppermint or cloves yes depending on which ones you are there smell. any weapons on any of the bad guys that we think might give off that you notice that all of the scimitars have a slight candy coating that's an awesome scimitar i'm so glad i picked two of those up uh okay um the, that's all i got does anybody else have anything no i don't got nothing yeah i think i'm good we established that it's a dead end down here no, I thought we were turning. Like, I thought it's just that the thing turned. That's all. Yes, and it's been continuing to turn for this entire 10 minutes. It's not stopped turning. It's a very long curve. Big turn. A very long 90 degree turn. 
Okay, are you guys ready to proceed? How about you, Frank and Well I? Are you guys ready? Uh, yeah, I'm too old for this crap. Okay, Frank, you go first. <laughs> uh, fine, out of my way. Oh well, I guess Excuse me. Yep. Is he sneaking gonna... or is he just barging right in? Well he hasn't been sneaky yet, so He's been sneaky uh, before. Not not fair the whole... Oh yeah, you're right, he has been. Yeah, I guess he will try to be sneaky and Um, what, can I be sneaky too? He is quite sneaky. Yes, anybody who's trying to be sneaky, please roll stealth. Okay. I'll try. He says as if he knows what he's sure. doing. Sure. Yeah. yeah, I'm sneaky as fuck. All right. <laughs> so everybody but Whale Eye is just moving like wind through the trees, but Whale Eye, you can hear his big feet slapping the ground. <laughs> flat, God, flat, yeah. flat, flat. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess everybody but well, I and um, Panacea, because that nine's not very sneaky. No, I wasn't figuring it was. So, uh, sneak. Uh, pa Panacea's little feet are also just. Are they bumping into each other like Tweedledee and Tweedledum? Kind of. Like... It's not dissimilar. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I see a room with some crates ahead of us. Doesn't look too crazy. I'm gonna open the door. Huh. Yep, I see crates. It looks okay. Come on. Here we go. <laughs> Alright. Let me in. Sorry, I'm not trying to block it. It's just. There we go. <laughs> um, how high do these crates go? That's a great question. Like Most of them go to floor to almost ceiling, just a couple of inches between them and the ceiling. Can I roll athletics to stand on Frank's shoulders to see over him? <laughs> you know what? Yes. Yes, you can. And that is athletics that you want me to do? Or that is athletics that I would like you to do. Okay. Climbing like things plus is one athletics. more on acrobatics. I don't know. Yeah, but climbing things is a, an athletic trait. Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, no. As you try, um, Frank has a sneezing fit caused by the residual magic that you have on you. Um, he's a little sensitive. And his sneezing fit caused him to actually hurl you forward into one of the um, crates. And uh, you hit your head and take two damage. I'm not healing that. That was stupid. Okay, well, that didn't work out. Do these boxes have any markings or labels or they, stuff on them? They are, crates that have no markings or labels. Do they have any smells emitting from them? Please roll perception. Okay. Ugh. Uh, the crates do have, uh, several of them have scents, some of them do not, but uh, several of them smell uh, like something sweet, um, a couple of them sm smell a little earthy, almost, um, and prevailing the room, you smell this, uh, a general smell of like cinnamon, uh, it's, it's nice, but there's a slight faint undertone of something bitter. Something a little bit acrid, but you can't quite put your finger on it. It's not something you're familiar with. Hmm. That's now not that the smell of bloody shit. Um, do we hear anyone approaching or anything as if they may have been alerted to our presence? Yeah, I haven't rolled perception yet. I kind of almost want to. Yeah, if you'd like to find out if you hear something, please roll perception. All right, I, I think our clerics got this. Is it good or bad? <laughs> Oh, that was good. <laughs> that's funny. That's really fantastic. <laughs> um, all you hear is the clattering of the train on the rails, the slight swaying of the actual crates. Um, Varian's heavy breathing as he's trying to recover from his head injury. Uh, Bashino's loud feet behind you. And Frank's heavy breathing after recovering from that sneezing fit. And of um, course, the faint Christmas music. Yeah, guys, I think I think we're okay. Okay, I say, come on, Bushino, and I creep around the corner, slowly, rubbing my head. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, 
hey Perseus, uh -huh. go ahead and stop for me. Um, Is this a window? What's your <laughs> passive? <laughs> what's your passive perception? Um, wait, like wait, it's like plus something. So it'll just say on the left side, underneath your saving throws, it'll say passive perception. Uh, oh, eighteen. That's not your passive perception. There's no way. Well, passive wisdom. Sorry, sorry. Um, no, no, yes. It's really? I have very high perception. Okay, well, <laughs> you notice that there is a soft spot in the floor that you're about to put your foot on. <gasps> Long out! <Jeez. laughs> no. Okay, jump jump back. Great. <laughs> ah. yeah. Uh, yeah, you notice there? there was a, a loose floorboard that looks like it's a little bit springy, and you started to touch it, and you got really nervous and stepped back. That was a close one. Is Varian standing next to a window or a door? Or so the, the gray parts, those are metal, um, uh, just metal walls. These darker parts are actually sliding doors. It's a boxcar. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to alert the others and say that up ahead there's a um, there's a, a loose floorboard. I think it might be a trap door. So we should probably on the map. Or trap. Can I mark it? Wait, is it this one? Yeah, you've find that it is right here. Ah, right here. Um, Are there open crates? Am I seeing open okay. crates? Yeah. You are seeing an open crate, yes. Well, can I peep inside of it? Of course you can. One? Okay, here I go. What's in, what's in there? Uh, you find some foodstuffs. It looks like vegetables. Hmm. Um, are they asparagus, Brussels sprouts, like uh, it's actually a mix of cabbage and uh, greens. Look like mm -hmm. mustard greens. Significantly less exciting. Okay. You find it. You do find one turnip in there. Oh, did I'm taking it with me? Okay. You're welcome to the turnip. I do have someone that's good at like deactivating traps and shit. How do you deactivate a trap? I have a rope of climbing. <laughs> They use it? <laughs> I mean, so typically rogues are pretty good at deactivating traps with their sleight of hand ability. You want to go poke it? Oh, I have a really good sleight of hand. That Sorry, I have a... to restart my... So really good things you can use sleight of hand on are disabling traps, picking locks, and pickpocketing other people. Oh, okay. Ah, um, my, my, my... Oh, no. My roll 20 restarted, and now I just see myself. <sighs> Damn it. It keeps, like, randomly restarting. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm gonna try to refresh. In the meantime, can I, um, I can't move my character, but can I investigate, uh, the trap door? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, because my, my Roll20 website That's is... That's fine. But, okay, uh, cool, cool. You find that it's not a trap door, but as you're looking at it, I'm gonna say with your passive perception, you would have been able to tell it pretty easily. As you look at it, it looks like there's a little pressure switch underneath. <laughs> oh, look at that sleight of hand. I think, I think he's and trying to... And you that. completely deactivate the pressure switch. Perfect. Okay. Um, I will go ahead of y'all, though, just in case there's more. Okay. Hey, Drop doors. Yeah, I, I also um, have a passive perception of 14, if that helps. Okay. And, <laughs> and uh, Varian, what did you say yours was? Oh, 16. It's pretty high. Okay, so yeah, you guys should be able to spot pretty much anything. <laughs> uh, and Frank has a 15, so... Oh, wow. <laughs> Attention passengers, that. we'll be arriving at Christmas Town in 10 minutes. Please make your final latrine breaks and return to your seats or your rooms as soon as possible. Thank you for uh, for traveling with the Polar Express. We hope to serve you again soon. <laughs> oh man, I gotta yeah, get my green gun. Can I stab one of these cats? <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm sorry. One at a time. Katie, what'd you say? That, oh, we're all screwed. Sounds like they don't have toilets there. <laughs> and my, or Vi Varian, what were you saying? Oh, I was trying to get my drink on. Can I stab a cask? <laughs> uh, cask? Yeah, it looks like there's a barrel. Go ahead. For, for cask? When you stab one, fluid doesn't come out. Instead, it's a weird jelly, and it smells very bitter. It's that, it's acrid, it's pungent. It mm. doesn't smell pleasant at all. And it's just coming out in a, a very thick jelly. I'm gonna step back from that because fuck that. And um, I guess, uh, yeah, I'm done with that. <laughs> that is it is it real jelly or is it Frank jelly? It's not a jelly. I would suggest so suggesting. It, it looks a lot like C4 if that was a thing, but slightly <laughs> gooier. 
They're slightly gooier. Like Seymour. napalm barrels. <laughs> Almost. That might have been what was going to fall on you guys if you didn't find the trap. Oh yeah, I'm going to keep going. Oh. Eight and a half oh. minutes. Oh, guys, let's go. I'm going to open this door. Carelessly. Here I go. All right. Wait, do you guys want to search with our eight minutes or you want to go through this door? Do a search with our eight minutes? The train blows up in eight minutes. <laughs> oh, it blows up? Oh, okay. Well, let's keep going. What? <laughs> I'm out the door. Somebody coming with me. Anyone, please? Right, over here. Wait, I thought you I guys knew that the train was going to blow up. No, we didn't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys didn't search that body. Or in, or interrogate anybody. True, we didn't. Yeah, <laughs> so you don't know no. the train's going to blow up. Never mind. <laughs> no, we don't. Really We're just get the F off this train. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so, could you say that the party felt a <laughs> very uneasy feeling all of a sudden? <laughs> You all feel Perception. inexplicably <laughs> nervous. For some reason. For some reason, we need to get the hell off this train. I think, I think our rogue said they were going to go first, and then they stopped going first. And, um, yeah. I was going to be like, yo, no, get, get, get up there. I'm flagging. I'm oh, okay. Flying. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Well, I have the second yeah, no, perception. Oh, I'll lead the way. Me and Frank. He's not yep. going. <laughs> okay, we're in a new car. Uh, I'm gonna peep around these things kind of carefully. Kind of, kind of carefully. Go? There, I'm just peeking around this little chokehold area. <laughs> little Love the turn. No. Can That's I roll okay. perception since I'm in this new car? Absolutely, go ahead and roll perception. Where'd go? How are we doing at 18? You uh, hear the same as before, just the clattering of train. All right, Christmas that music. Like I'm threatening. Feeling pretty unthreatening in general. Okay, I'm gonna move to this corner so I can see the. Oh, there's blood everywhere! There is, in fact, blood everywhere in one spot. Everywhere in one spot. There you go. Uh, I'm gonna here. go investigate the bloody spot on the floor. What's going on over here? Frank is also investigating. <laughs> of course. He's it bloody. looks like fresh blood. Oh. Great. Well. Uh, I checked the ceiling above it. It is intact and un, uh, I don't know, unmolested. There's no body from it. That's no. Soiled. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting there. Okay, I'm peeking around the corner. I know we're kind of running short on time. Uh, so here we go. Very bravely. The bravest brave person. The most braverest. Yeah. But this is like, in Final Fantasy VII, I would definitely go over here and check this corner. Ooh, what is this? I must know. Wait, that's a chest? Oh, guys, come here. We found a chest, maybe. I might need the rogue's help. Is it locked? I tried to it. Open is it is not locked. It is full of can uh, rock candy. Son of a bitch. I'm going to take a couple handfuls from it. Uh, okay. Oh, God. Let's get out. To make sure it's all rock candy. As you dump it out, you find six citrine and three emeralds at the bottom. Woohoo! I want some of the emeralds. I would like at least one emerald and one uh, citrine. Do you guys want to work on divvying up this stuff now, or do you want to divvy it up after you're off the train? That's divvy up. Well, probably after we're on the train. Okay, but as long as the rogue doesn't hold them. Well, I'll just. I can take care of the emeralds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Good. Oh, I know you can. That's <laughs> worthy. I, I say we give uh, all of the gems to the swashbuckler for now, and then we'll divvy them up later. Okay. Yeah, I'm good with that. Does everybody think that's acceptable? And he can hold a bunch of shit. He seems nice. Okay, who's opening that door? One, two, three, not it. I'm the healer. Mm, my fingers. Oh, open Frank's it if it. I can get it over there. <laughs> Frank just slams oh. it open and goes charging through. Sounds familiar. Get out of my way. <laughs> oh, good. Goodness gracious. What There's is this? More blood. Oh, and like a stomach circle with a potential casket. Sorry, Percy. I didn't mean to move you. What oh, it's is okay. this? Okay. Might think this is... Does anybody have any knowledge of what this is in um, our party? Would this be like a history or something like that? Well, it depends on what you're trying to... Are you trying to... I... You're just trying to remember if you know something about it? Yeah, it's it'd be arcana. Familiar, or familiar or... It would be an arcana check. Arcana? 
I'll try it. Why not? Right. Oh, yeah. Totally don't know shit. Bashino <laughs> does, though. Uh, he apparently is pretty knowledgeable when it comes to the arcane arts. And he says, that looks like a containment circle. But it's weird. Two of those symbols are switched. That makes it repel things from getting to it rather than trapping what's inside. That's strange. What are the symbols made with? Huh. Is it blood? Well, it looks like they were drawn in chalk and then when activated by blood that formed a seal that you see glowing here. Oh. Do you guys think we should alter the seal? I'm saying nah. <laughs> Nah. Can we get past it without fucking it up? I don't know. Try. It's repelling it. I'm, I'm not going in there. I know better. I'm low in cell spots. The sleight of hand help with something like this? It, so, what would you be using it for? How would you try to get past it? I don't jump over it. Hmm. Can you, um. Style. Can you, like, mess up the design? Like, is the, the chalk. Does it look like you can like, reach forward it? and see if you can? Uh, yeah. Go ahead and. Uh, oh. Is that what you're gonna do? Is try to reach and change it? Okay, good luck. No. <laughs> I'm in the corner. I'm asking if I can like roll some other like like perceptions here. <laughs> yeah, can I do perception before <laughs> before trying to touch? About it? What are you trying to perceive? Oh, can I throw a rock at it? Do you have like... a rock? Uh, can I do a perception check for a rock? <laughs> <laughs> Katie, what are you asking? So, like, like um, you know, I've, I've that overcoming sense of dread or whatever of, like, let's not fuck with this or let's fuck with this. But, like, you know, I'm trying to, you know, see what I, I you know, instinctually might know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... Being an adventurer in worlds like this. There you go. Uh, Perseus, you don't see any rocks. Okay. <laughs> it is a large, empty box car that has nothing but the coffin, the symbol, and the blood. And your allies, of course. You could eat one of them if you wanted. Um, okay. As you get nearer to it, uh, um, per Panacea, as you get a little bit closer to it, you feel almost static. It's like there's this resistance the closer you get to it. Oh, I have an idea. Okay. Yes. Uh, I have a, a piece of paper and a pen and some ink. Can I write my name and, and kind of like try to shoot it past the, the edge of the circle? Of course you can. Go ahead and try. Like, like Goblet's Fire? Okay, <laughs> so I take out my ink, my one parchment. I'll go ahead and take it out of my inventory because I'm an honest man. Oh, just kidding. It says one parchment and then I have 10 of them. So yes. I'm going to take one of those and I'm going to write my name on it and I'm going to throw it over the, the line and see what happens. So, do you like crumple it up or fold it into a glider or? Yeah, yeah, kind of like a little glidey shape. Okay. And, like, and where, where are you trying to aim? Uh, well, I was thinking I would probably slide it across a, a line here between the square and the uh, hourglass shape. Okay. Um, as you do, it just glides right through. No problem. Where and it, it ends up on the other side. Uh, it looks like there might be a little bit of an updraft or something. It ends up landing somewhere in this vicinity. Right. Unmolested. Can we walk past it to the other side of the car? Can we skirt, skirt around it or not so much? So it, it, it looks like the edges of the symbol touch the edges of the car. <laughs> One, two, three, not it. So it just went, it went over the symbol. It didn't like touch it. And then... No. Frank, y'all giant babies and he moves forward and tries to touch it and just can't get past it. he's pushing and pushing and it's just <laughs> and it's like there's this invisible wall it's almost as if frank is the best mime you've ever seen oh, but knowing fine. his personality oh. he's probably not a mime other than that he looks unharmed hmm. can i uh cast my unseen servant and try to get him to gain access to uh whatever the fuck is in the middle of that thing you may most definitely do so. Let me give you okay, a token for your unseen guy. servant. I don't know why I rolled. It just said that I could cast him. Do you want a male or a female unseen servant? Uh, oh, yeah, it does say. Because wow. only you can see it, so. Oh, yeah, that's true. So why does it matter? I don't, just because I have tokens. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll have a female unseen servant. Um, do you prefer blondes or brunettes? I used to have a redhead. Oh, I do have a redhead pirate, too. Oh, yeah, 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 dibs. Dibs right. on the pirate chick. 
Oh no, she's a blonde pirate. Oh, that's okay. Okay. Well, here's your unseen servant. Let me give you control of her. All right. That sounded a lot less appropriate than I meant. All right. <laughs> All right. You have control over the pirate woman. Excellent. Um, can we? She's <coughs> probably a magical creature of some sort, and she's gonna try and gain access. Uh, to the circle. That's what I was thinking. How's that? How's that going for her? She's gonna try and enter like right here between the symbol and, and this symbol. She is a mindless, invisible, shapeless medium force. She has no problem getting through. Oh, cool. Oh. Um, what can she do? <laughs> Hold on, let me read my own description. <laughs> can perform simple tasks. Uh huh. Uh huh. Can she so invest we... this thing in the middle for us? This uh, thing? she can. Yes. Um, kind of. She can kind of see what she sees and report back to you yeah. to a degree. Uh, She's mindless, so she mostly just executes tasks if you want her to like, lift something or move something. I want her to try and lift the top of it. Okie dokie. Uh, she lifts it, and uh, as she does so, you hear a deep, thunderous voice. <laughs> you fools! You've released me! And you see this claw grab the edge of the coffin on one side and the edge on the other. And then two wings protrude out and push down on the ground and a form rises up. Oh, Terrible and beautiful. Ooh. I said we shouldn't have fucked with it, guys. What oh, God! <laughs> what are you talking about? If she's a succubus, I'm totally okay with my decisions. You have released me! That spell was for your protection, but now you meet your doom. Oh, no. Yeah, she has a pretty deep masculine voice for a chick. Sorry, deal with it. That's kind of hot. Yeah, I'm into how it. I do. <laughs> this is what uh, 40 years worth of marbles would make you sound like. So hot, man. Does she really have horns and a tail? Yes. I have a feeling Flamey Boy is about to just burst out in excitement. Yeah. I don't want to hear about Flamey Boy bursting. Uh, oh god uh okay um is the seal still holding frank back or is it kind of as, as she uh steps out the sigils on the ground start to flicker and fade well shit we better roll for initiative yeah you, yeah, you guys just might want to do you guys have uh, do you want to talk to her at all first or are you just jumping into it oh yeah she hasn't attacked you yet so yeah Okay, I want to ask her, who was holding her there? No one was holding me. They were protecting me so that I can get to my master unharmed. But it looks like I get to have some fun on the way. <laughs> oh, okay, so she's That bad. sounds like a very unhealthy BDSM relationship. Hey, I get good I mean, aftercare. Could have just been some role playing. Can yeah, I ask I mean, if she's familiar with the letter K? You don't have to ask me. Yes, you can ask her. Oh, okay. Are you familiar with the letter K that I keep seeing on every month? What is this? <laughs> Sesame Street? Of course I'm familiar with the letter K. Oh, condescending. Do you know the <laughs> alphabet? <laughs> Do you know what it stands for? Well, it could stand for a lot of things. Knight, knife, or maybe Krampus. Ku Klux Klan. Aww. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Hmm. What, what, what you got now? Did Krampus put you in the uh, the coffin? Well, his servants did. I serve him. He is my master. Is Krampus in the North Pole? He is now. He is the true Father Christmas. He will, he will strike down the usurper and take his throne as the king of the North. Kind of like Ned Stark. Oh, okay. Um, are you gonna join us or should we kill you? What's that? Uh, I'm gonna give her the option to surrender before we attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. you're funny, tiny man. Wait, is she also giant? Uh, she's about ten foot two. That's huge. What's is her she flying right now, or just kind of? Sorry. She's currently down. standing. It's not quite the box car is not quite tall enough for her to fly, but her wingspan's about fourteen feet. Dude, blocking the whole fucking. She could darn near. 
how much time do we have before the train blows? Uh, I'm just very gonna... little. <laughs> I'm gonna roll for initiative. All right, everyone roll for initiative then. Oh, yeah. Should we get out of the train? <laughs> I'm surprised no one asked her about the train. Mm, meh. Meh. <laughs> I'm not too concerned with it. Right. She's an See, underling we're on the train, overlord. Right? Who is she on a fucking train? Yeah, that's a pretty good question. Oh. I mean, we could try and like find a place to jump off, but other than that, I think we can just try and kill this. This is fucked. Well, that's alright, because time's basically paused right now. You guys are in six second increments, so. Okay. So that's a blessing at least. All right. Uh, we roll a Frank and a machine. Well, it looks like Frank gets to go first. Uh, he, <coughs> pardon me. He is going to cast Compel Duel um, on the creature, and let's see if she's able to resist. She fails her wisdom save, so uh, it has disadvantage on all att attacks against everyone but him. Uh, so there is that. And that is his bonus action. He's going to charge in, and he's going to try to hit it with his shield deal. He fails, but he's going to try with his crossbow, and he hits four or five damage. So as he charges in, um, he draws her attention by insulting her horns, uh, and she looks enraged and kind of locks eyes on him. Uh, with that, she turns to attack him, and she lashes out with uh, a pair of claws and her teeth all at once. Oh no! That sucks that it landed on the ground, because that was a nat 20. And it was a seven that time. So she only hits Frank twice. Uh, and she deals him eight damage. All right, Varian, what are you up to? Um, what is my unseen servant doing? Does she move what I move? Does she have to roll for initiative? She takes her turn at the end of yours, or basically any point during yours, uh, but you would have to use a bonus action to give her a command. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to tell her to run. It looks like she can move 15 feet. She can move more than 15. Uh... Once oh, you right. move up turn to 15. Action, you can mentally command the servant to move 15 feet and interact with an object. So she's going to maybe move here. Okay. I actually don't know her speed, but that seems like a safe place to put her. And I'm going to cast Force Light. Zappity yeah. zap away. Force Light. All the die coming out. Well, you hit her. Pretty good. Let's do another one. Pretty excellent. Pretty, right. pretty fantastic. Is that 19? It would be. Um, but as it hits her, uh, she doesn't seem as affected as you would expect. Um, she does get you know, a little bit of a little bit of a char about her, but not as much as you would think. Does Almost as if it? she's resistant to lightning. Ooh. Got anything else? Uh, I already used my bonus action. I'm going to move to here. And that's my turn. All right. Our buddy Bashino is going to come charging in as well. About there. And he is going to strike at her with his... Go for the flank? What's that? He is going to go for the flank. He just... He's tripped a little bit and had to stumble. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Uh, he is going to attack twice with his... Longsword. Uh, he's going to attack the once, but with advantage. 
Uh, it's a good thing he had advantage because he rolled a nat one for one of them. Oh. But the other one's a hit. Come on. There we go. And he deals a whole six damage. All right, Perseus, talk to me. Um, so I'm going to move up next to the servant. Oh, I can't see her. Okay, I'm going to move up hypothetically next to the servant um, here. Where are you, son? And then in the... Pardon? Oh, I said where you saw me okay. when I gave the command. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh -huh. exactly. And then in the process, I'm going to don both my um, psychic blades, which gives me a bonus action since I have the other one donned. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to um, have a range. So I guess you throw, you throw them. You can. You can throw them or you can stab at them. You throw them and then you get them back, from, but still keeping a distance. So when you throw them, they hit the person, they disappear, and you just summon new ones the next time you want them. Oh, perfect. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw them at her. Throw away. <clears throat> so. Oh. Not prepared. Okay. Dips. So you need to roll the hit first. Okay. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw all of it. There we go. All right. That first one's a hit. Uh, dealing okay. the 20 damage. Cool. Because you get sneak attack damage. And then uh, go ahead and roll your second hit. Okay, cool. Uh, is it strength or dex? Dex. Okay. So it's d20 plus your dex plus your proficiency. Alright, and for that one you deal the four because you only get to do your sneak attack once per turn. All right, so you dealt her 24 damage in one turn. That's pretty good. Respectable. Pretty good. Uh, as your psychic blades hit her, she throws her hands to her head and starts screaming, almost as if she has an extremely bad, extremely sudden ice cream headache. Because of I'm psychic damage. Yeah, that was <laughs> Panacea, what do you got for me? Well, um, that flimmy boy wanting to come out. He's just asking to come out. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. coming out. Uh, let me just bring him back from over there. And, and he's gonna, once I figure out where to put him, but he's gonna wait for him to appear, but he's gonna be coming over here. There you go. You have control of him. There we go. I don't want him. All right. Yeah. So then I just rolled what he slapped her for 14. And he misses. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to come up behind y'all, just so I'm closer, um, and I don't, I think I have to pull my, uh, thing out, because I switched weapons, didn't I? Oh, yeah. you don't, what, why are you pulling your thing out? My crossbow. Uh, yeah, that'll be your interaction. Yeah, so I need to do that, right? That yeah. means I can't use... I can't do it as an action. I can't shoot my crossbow, right? You can't. And so pulling it out would be your interaction, and then shooting it would be an action. Okay, uh, so it's still good then. Yes. Okay, cool. So yeah, I'm going to pull it out, and I'm going to shoot. Okay. Roll to hit. Twelve. Twelve does not hit. Not doing so well on this one. And so, yeah, I'm good. I'm done. I don't really got nothing else. All right. Uh, that brings us back to Frank, uh, who is going to... be just fine. Okay. And then he is going to go ahead and attack her once again with his... Uh, shield. That's a big hit. For six. And then again with his crossbow. Also a hit. For another seven. For a total of 13 damage. Alright. 
She in turn is going to turn to Wailai, who is tried to who uh, tried to strike her from the rear, and she's going to strike at him with disadvantage. Uh, and she still manages to hit the first time. She misses the second time, and she misses the third time for a total of six damage. You guys are getting off lucky. The other group, when they fought her, the first hit was 28 damage. Ow. Yeah. They opened the crate too. What's that? They opened the, uh, the crate too. They yes, yes that. they did. But they're, the way they ended it was very interesting. I'll tell you guys later. Varian, what are you up to? Uh, Well, Force Lightning's not really a go, I guess. I probably should have reviewed my other spell. Let's take a peek. I mean, it was doing damage. Contemplating. Contemplating my spells. Um, well, uh, I imagine she's going to be alive for another couple minutes. How healthy does she look? She look kind of kind of fine. Uh, right now, she's looking about a little more than half as strong as when you saw her originally. Uh, the flame of her eyes is slightly subdued. One of her wings has a tear in it. No. She got a couple cuts across her uh, arms and other f exposed fleshy areas. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to step up. Here we go. <coughs> Where am I? Oh, here I am. I'm going to move to uh, right here. Why not? Why? All of all of Vinegar, and I'm going to cast a Booming Blade, uh, which says, as part of this action, you need to cast a spell. You must make a melee attack with a weapon against one creature within the spell's range. Otherwise, the spell fails. Okay, ready? Ready when you are. If the target willingly moves before then, it takes lots of damage. Blah, 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 blah. Something, something. Damn it, more thunder damage. I probably should have read that. <laughs> well, thunder is different than lightning damage. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, well, I'm just going to roll it, and then we're going to figure out together how this works. I'm displaying it on the thing. Beautiful. And here we go. You got to roll to hit first. For the attack? Yeah. There we go. It does not hit. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll finish reading the rest of the spell while we do nothing. Because I moved, I cast a spell, and... Don't you get your homie to deal with? Uh, Your unseen yeah. servant. I can I have her move somewhere. Or she can say that it doesn't matter what you ever do, it's all up to you. And she did. And she did. <laughs> yeah, she did good for like slapping her or some shit. She can't uh, attack. She cannot. She cannot. Um, I'm gonna tell her to go over here. Okay. That's about it. Uh, yep, yeah, and that was my bonus action, so we're all set. Alright. Let's see. That is a con. Lucky Bashino. Alright, he is safe. Uh, Bashino is going to try to take a swing at our uh, friendly little not so friendly little demon. Um, demon and S. he. What was that? Nothing. It said demon S. Uh, there we go. Demon S. Pardon me, being very insensitive. Uh, but he fails to hit. Alright, so that brings us to Perseus. What are you doing? Um, so I'm going to move to the diagonal. Since Varian just kind of stepped on the wing while I was beating her up with my psychic blades. Um, I get this part. So I'm gonna move and then I'm going to do another attack with both my blades. Okay. Um, add. There we go, okay. Just say the phrase while you were meeting her out. <laughs> with your I was just letting it go. I tried so hard. I was like, no, nah, I just gotta, I just gotta let this. That yeet does not hit. Okay, I'm gonna do bonus actions. Roll to hit. Um, looks 
Oh, Machino has two attacks. Dang. That one's definitely a hit. And it deals her the whopping 13 damage. I will take that. I'm glad you yeeted her out. <laughs> Wait, did I say who said voting for that? I'm sorry, unless something amazing happens. The well, next seeing as I've only I've only remembered to write down two different titles, that might be the one. <laughs> she looks she looks horrified. Milo misheard what you said as yeeting her out. Oh, <laughs> Your yeah. plates. That's what you said. I, <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I said. <laughs> I don't know what you said either, but now that's all I can hear in my replay, in my like mental replay. You might have to go back and watch it again, but that's that's what I heard. I'm so sorry. I'm I tried to control myself. I'm like, nah, I can't do what you said. I'm just gonna let that go. And uh, Pan yeah. Panacea, what do you got for us? Oh, I, I've got a uh, very cute little flamey boy that just heard her yeeting her out. <laughs> He's kind of confused. He's a little jealous. You know. <laughs> so he's going to try and uh, kiss his uh, new girlfriend here. And I think that one did okay. Smooches. Smoochy, smoochy. We'll see when and, it comes uh, through. That's uh, a big hit for the 10. Yep. And so. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to aim my uh, bolt, my uh, crossbow over. And uh, this 24 hit. It's a hit. All right. And so that's going to be 10 damage also. Oh my goodness. Save in all of the rolls for this one person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how do we define her personhood? Her personhood? Yeah. How does oh. one define I, personhood? I wouldn't dare to assume that she were anything less than. I think that's a, a very smart thing to do for your uh, continued existence. It's super person, but I'm going with entity. <laughs> I like entityhood. There we go. Yeah, yeah. It's like entity ship. I mean, if I weren't in a party of people, I would be groveling already, <laughs> saying I am. Uh... So is she like like how's she doing now that she just like took twenty? She's looking pretty like... rough. One of her wings is completely collapsed on uh, oh, no. her. Um, she's beat up, bruised up. Her tail is actually missing a giant chunk out of it. One of her horns is completely broken off. Um, but her eyes are still flaming. And to follow that up, Frank is going to give the old 1-2 special. And... I feel like she was super cocky when she came out. <laughs> yeah. No Wailing on <laughs> <laughs> it's not ready for us. All right, he's Go going ahead. to <laughs> look around and he's going to try to see how hurt his allies are. How are you guys looking? I'm good. Doing fine. I'm, I'm okay. Okay. Uh, he looks at Bushino. Bushino looks like he's still surviving, so there's that. So he's going to give her the old one two special, starting with that shield. That's a big hit. 25 for 4 damage. Follows up with the crossbow and misses impressively with that crossbow. Right. Uh, she, in turn, is going to once again try to strike at Frank. Uh, it's a hit with a nat 20, an 18, and a set. That one won't hit, so she hits twice. Ooh, this is going to be big. Yeah. So, 2d10 plus 4 times 2. I think KD froze again on the exact same. <laughs> <laughs> 18. Did I freeze again, really? Yeah, you did. Um, <laughs> Frank just took 38 damage. Oh! And he went down. Uh, that sucks. So now that Frank is unconscious, she does not have disadvantage against other people. Okay, so, so I... If he went I down, kind of like... <laughs> Never mind. I won't. There's <laughs> no yeeting in this going, alright? He went... He is now he unconscious. Out, he, out, he just went down. <laughs> have we had... Have you guys had a character go unconscious yet? 
No. No, no we sure haven't. All right. So when someone's unconscious, there's a few things to do. Uh, when someone's unconscious, the only thing they can do on their turn is do a death saving throw to see if they make it or not. Uh, so they roll a d20. If it's a 10 or uh, lower, then they fail. If it's 11 or higher, they succeed. And three successes, they're back up at one health. Three failures, they're dead forever. And what if we end combat before three rolls? So things you guys can do to help your ally. If you end combat, you can go ahead and perform medicine on them. Uh, you can also... Revivify. What's that? I've got Revivify. You can use magic to either, uh, during combat... Uh, you can use magic or medicine to try to stabilize them by doing something like revivify, spare the dying, or even casting a spell that heals. If you do anything to give them health, then they come back to consciousness, right? Now, Frank is at negative eight health right now. So, um, if you go to, if you get hit so hard that you hit negative your health total, so say you have a max of 50 health and you get brought to negative 50, you also die but if someone heals you say they heal you for 10 and you're at negative eight you come back with two health does that make sense it's like uh if your bank is an overdraft you can put money back in All right right now frank is in overdraft mode so we'll see what we can do any questions yeah. no all right well uh varian is next and varian what i need you to do for me is a constitution saving throw. I imagine that means I'm gonna just roll the constitution. Okay. Uh, so under your saving throws, there's actually a con one. Uh, just kidding, I can find this. Okay, here we go. Not, not the best, oh. not the worst. Well, not quite good enough. As she raises her arms, this horrible stench radiates out at you uh mm -hmm. and it's it is overwhelming you start yes from her underarms and you just start retching it's the most foul thing you think you've ever smelled in your life uh you are currently poisoned um and that means you have disadvantage on attacks and ability checks but that was just him right yes just him uh yeah. on your next turn you can or you just poisoned until the start of your next turn. And so we'll decide again if you're poisoned next turn. Okay. She's tanky. Not as well, bad as he got poisoned. I'm really surprised that a rogue tried to eat her out. <laughs> you should have the bard's job. I think we put her in the wrong class for this this game. <laughs> she would have made a great bard. She would have been an amazing bard. Oh, bard. <laughs> I'm learning. So, uh, Varian, what are you doing with the rest of your turn? Oh, is it my turn? It is, in fact, your turn. Well, I got poisoned as as something that happened on my turn. That's really Yes, so if you're within 10 feet of her at the start of your turn, you have to make the save. Both Bashino and Frank passed their saves. Mm. You have not. Mm. You have a red dot on me. That's why you have the red dot. I see. Yeah. Um, Armpit stink poisoning. Okay, let me let me peep some stuff real quick. So is it at the end of my turn, or is it the beginning of my next turn that we figure out more things about poison? It's at the beginning of each of your turns. This happened at the beginning of this turn. At the beginning of your next turn, we'll do the exact same thing if she's still around. But if you succeed once, you don't have to do it again for 24 hours. Can I cast Lesser Restoration on myself? Of course. Oh, cool. And that removes the poison. And it takes back. All right, so you're casting lesser, lesser Restoration on yourself? Okay, I'm going to do it. Here we go. All right, then you no longer feel poisoned. Nice. So that's my action. Um, bonus action. Explain at this point. Uh, I'm going to... Well, shit. That's kind of all I got, isn't it? That's it. I'm just going to end my turn right in front of me. Okay. Okay. I love it. Uh, Whale Eye is going to once again try to hit her, but now that I know he has multi-attack, he's going to try to hit her twice. 
Hooray! Uh, and uh, you know, I'm gonna use the digital dice because I'm rolling crappy for him if I do it by hand. All right, he swipes with his long sword. I'm so glad I did the digital dice because that's a big hit, dealing her a total of nine damage. He swipes again, another big hit, dealing a total of. All right, 18 damage all said and told. Oh. Perseus, talk to me. Okay, I'm gonna hit her again with my psychic blades. Uh, before what? that, I need a constitution saving throw because you're starting your turn within 10 feet of her. Okay. Uh... Now I'm gonna get poisoned. Ooh. You, oh. it, it stinks. It is awful, but you have smelled worse. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. <Okay>. Last turn. <laughs> my shirt a little above my uh, above my nose, and then I take my psychic. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> no, they just Nothing. continue your turn. <laughs> Ignore him. I'm gonna attack her again with both my uh, psychic plates. Love it. For the head. <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> That's a hit. You want to use your offhand? Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. That oh. one does not hit. All right, Panacea, are you still with us? I am. Okay. Um, well, apparently, I'm frozen. <laughs> That's okay, Panacea. Before you, you see the beaten and broken form of this formerly very proud demoness. She's having trouble holding herself up as she's just bashed from every side. The entire tip of her tail is missing. Her thigh is bleeding this dark purple blood at a rate that is astonishing to you. Um, her, one of her shoulders is, clo uh, is cleaved so difficult, so deeply that she's having trouble using that arm. She has burns on her face and one of her horns completely snapped off. She doesn't have much left for her. What do you do? Um... Well, a uh, kissy boy, I think, is gonna give her a little slap in the face. I just gotta get to the page here. So. 23 for. 23 is a hit. And. 11. Ooh. She's just barely clinging to life. Okay. And so then. Since she's so close. I guess I'll try shooting her. Which did not. <laughs> Seven does not hit. Yeah. And so, I'll just keep hanging back because my other plan didn't work. <laughs> right. Frank is going to have his first success. So he's not dead yet. Uh, All right. The demoness. She looks, uh. Let's see who did her the most damage. She's gonna look very in. right in the eyes. Because. No, who's the one that talked to her the most earlier? Yeah, okay, yeah. She, okay, she's gonna look you right in the eyes. And she's going to say, You may defeat me, but Krampus will avenge me. And she's gonna take one attempt at taking out Bashino. And she hits him twice. Dealing him 19 damage. Bashino stumbles back. A giant gash across his chest. Uh, a big bite mark on his cheek. Cleaving it open, his lip is completely torn. He stumbles back in severe pain as the demoness tries to fall upon him. Varian, what do you do? Did he actually stumble back? Can I get between them? Uh, it's flavor text. Oh, oh I'll okay. I'm setting the, the scene. I like I like the scene. She is aggressing and he is maybe mid step back, but about no, that. Yeah, back. somewhere in there. And, uh, I have two swords and I really, really just kidding, I can't cast again, can I? What level is it? Oh, hey, since it's the beginning of your turn, you haven't had a successful saving throw. Can you make a con save for me? Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Aguila. Ah, you roll. once again are overwhelmed by this atrocious stench. Really unfortunate. I am just frustrated to be re-poisoned. I'm going to... Uh, it looks like I can cast Booming Blade again. Is it is a level... Oh, it's a cantrip. So, Booming Blade it is. I'm gonna booming roll the hit blade. first. Roll the hit. It does not hit. Okay, well that's exciting. <laughs> but not really exciting. Uh... Bonus actions are two weapon fighting. Do I roll the hit with the second weapon? So bonus, but since you did make a melee attack with your on-hand weapon, you can make an attack with your off-hand weapon. You just don't get to add your your uh, modifier to it, so it's just the straight damage dice. That makes sense. Off-hand weapon. That's a hit. That's you've killed her. Tell us how. Hooray! Well, Varian, seeing his opportunity to strike as the demoness is distracted engaging with bloody bloody Bushino he just kind of stepped forward in a lunge and with his left slash off hand just catches her in the chest and impales her as she lunges uh, uh, and then he Krampus. drops the dagger I'm they sorry. both fall to the ground that happens, and then the dagger disappears into the into the ether. Because it's my pack weapon, in case that wasn't clear. As her ten-foot form falls slamming to the ground, the impact echoes throughout the train car, filling your ears with a ringing for a moment. As it clears, you hear again the peaceful Christmas music. The rattling of the train. And... An announcement. Thank you so much for traveling for choosing to travel with the Polar Express. We'll be arriving at the station in about one minute. Thank you, and have a great day. Oh, we searching her body for a whole minute. <laughs> we don't have time. <laughs> don't have time. I mean, do you guys know how to get off this train? Because I don't. No, but I don't feel like. Well, you are up. in a box car, and these <laughs> are really doors. Crazy. Saying, but I don't know that it's going to blow up. Someone, are we pretty Frank sure it's going to blow up? Yes, how's Frank doing? <laughs> uh, Frank is laying there unconscious, just bleeding. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So, all right. I'm going to fucking do something, unless someone has more spell slots, because I've been using all my spell slots on keeping you alive. <laughs> um, yeah. I Can I drag the body to the door? Which Not body, Frank. the demon or Frank? The demon. Okay. All right. Um, I'm Which doing. Which door? Uh, uh, I want to drag her to uh, this one because I think she died like right. Oh. Well. No, you're right. I was just moving her. Yeah. All right, and uh, KD, what are you doing? Uh, I put cure wounds on Frank, so he has one d8 plus four. Um. All right. You bring him back for. He has now has four health. Well, get some honest fucking feet so we can get the fuck off this okay. thing. Absolutely. I'm gonna use this very man. So, yeah, I'm all for, like, let's get this fucker open and get out of okay. here. Yeah, it sounds like my entire party is just absolutely sick of this train and they want to jump off for I don't know why, but I'm not gonna let them leave me. I am trying to bring this demon body with me, though. Maybe just I'll help it. you carry it. I was just thinking, like, it would give me something to land on, but also maybe I can oh, rifle okay. through her okay, skin. There you are pockets <laughs> all right uh so which Here, door are you guys trying to open yeah. i want to open this one. yeah this one it is barred this, this they're all are... barred and oh, locked with giant padlocks if only you had oh. someone skilled at picking locks <laughs> <laughs> roll side of hand for me actually i think i have locks on my thing too don't i oh no well you're still amazing so maybe the lock pops open under your hand. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Alright. As you uh, slide the door open, the sound of the train suddenly becomes very loud. The whooshing by of wind, the cold just, it comes in, just takes the breath from you. It's so cold. And you can see maybe half a mile off at most, 
the lights of a town. Oh, you going? Win. Okay, I'll jump first. And you're, <laughs> the you're demon this thing out with us, right? Because I'll go with you. Yeah, we're, we're both going to jump like one arm in we're each hand. Dragging the freaking body with we're us. We're eating this thing out. All right. Uh, I guess yeah, Frank is confused, but following along, he's like, why are we jumping? I'm too old for this crap. Um, um, hold on, let me. Okay. Uh, I just need a dexterity saving throw from everyone who jumps off the high speed train. Do I get extra points for jumping onto the squishy demon body? Yeah, because we and I both took the body with us. We have a 10 foot pillow that we're trying to use to cushion up well. <laughs> All right, you two can do your deck saves with advantage. Yes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, Frank is good. good. Uh, do I need to use my inspiration? Pacino is good. <laughs> uh, if you want to, you can. Uh, nine, nine. I don't know how good nine is. Wait, is the blessing still good, and can I use it on any d20? You can. You okay, I'm still blessed. I need well, that deep work. I think it's been more than a minute, so no. Oh. Yeah. No, I didn't bless you. All right, we just went. We searched the whole Yeah, bit. I'm going to use my inspiration for one last save because nine just did not feel like a good number. That looks a little bit better. 19. All right. <laughs> uh, everybody hits uh, some soft snow and is unharmed by their jump from the train. Uh, as, it get, as you guys jump from the train, you hear the brakes of the train. <laughs> As it, as it starts to slow down to pull into Christmas Station. And as soon as it pulls up next to the town, all of a sudden you see the engine uh, in the distance explode. Boom. And then each car behind it in, se in sequence, boom, 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 getting closer and closer to you. But luckily the caboose is just far enough away from you that you're not decimated by the impact. However, you see the train station collapse into charred ruins. And that is where we'll end for the night. Wow. But before we go, we would like to say our few thanks. Of course, first to Roll20 for the virtual tabletop that we get to play on, to D&D Beyond for the characters, character sheets, and rule books that we are using. I'd like to thank Sirenscape for the music. If you want to use this sound set, it's called Saving Christmas, the Polar Express, only on Sirenscape. We'd also like to give a big thanks to Twitch, to YouTube, the University of Washington, and to the VA hospital and well, I guess VA system for paying some of us to do this. So with that... We'd like to say thank you for joining us and enjoy your long rest. An important clarifying question before you stop it. Was the train more than 60 feet away? Yes. To be specific, the car that we were in was more than 60 feet away when it blew up? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. My unseen servant was unsummoned. <laughs> <laughs> Having gone more than 30 feet away from me. There we go. And now that we know the unseen, the unseen servant was unsummoned before it was blown up, we bid you a happy long rest. Hooray. Bye.